guys, welcome to my channel. So if you haven't already guessed it by the title of this video, I'm showing you what I picked up in Primark. Now this bag is extremely heavy and I spent just over £200 today in Primark and I've got some really nice pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to show you the items, I'm going to tell you how much I paid for them. And I will do a little bit of a split screen so that you can see what it looks like, how I've styled it. So I will style them with some items that I already have in my wardrobe. But I just wanted a little bit of a refresh and just a few new bits. So if this is the first time that you've come across my channel, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Charlie and I tend to upload twice weekly. I create content on lifestyle, shopping hauls and do also do a little bit of home decorating. Well, actually, I do a lot of home decorating for different seasons. So if that's something that you're really interested in, then please consider subscribing. It would be lovely to have you stick around. All you've got to do is hit that red subscribe button down below. You know how to subscribe to someone's channel. But it would really mean a lot if you did. Let's jump into this huge haul. Now, the last time I went to Primark was January. And I tend to bring a Primark haul every single month. Sometimes it's only a small one, but today there is quite a few items. So I'm not going to ramble on, I'm just going to show you what I picked up. So I am just looking for my receipt. So we'll keep that there. Not very often I keep the receipts, but I have today. So the first item that I'm going to show you is from the Paula Echevarria range, I think that's called. Now Paula brought a collection out with Primark last year, and she's also brought a collection out this year. But I did pick up these white trainers. Now, they haven't got the price on because I have wore them. But these were £14. Now, I just really like them because they're all white and they've just got the tan sole. So, I, I do like to pick up Primark trainers. Um, they are quite affordable. And I do actually like the style that they do. So, I did pick up these. Which I just think they are a really nice trainer. Um... These will go with anything. I've got a pair of jeans that these will go with. They'll go with leggings. So I did pick up these £14. And then from the same range, I picked up this white t-shirt. Now, it looks really, really boxy. So it is from that range again. You can see there. I picked this up in a medium, which is a 12 to 14. And for reference, I am a 12 on top and a 12 on the bottom. But sometimes I do like my clothes to be oversized, so I have picked a few things up today that are oversized. Now this was only £5, but I just liked the simple print on the front. It says Candace Spain, I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's the back that I really liked. It's got the coordinates on, and I love a t-shirt that's got a print on the back. Um, I do have Girl of Muse that's got a print on the back. I've got another one from Primark, which says Future Projects. That was actually out of the men's department. But like what I did say at the beginning of this video, I will put a little video here of me wearing these items. So if any of these items don't fit, then obviously you won't see a try on. But I'm hoping today that everything fits me. So yeah, I just picked up this, a nice white basic t-shirt, but it was the back that sold me. And for £5, I didn't think it was too bad at all. I thought this would look really nice with a pair of joggy bottoms or a pair of leggings even because it is quite long. So I picked that up, £5. I'm then just going to show you some items that I picked up from the men's department. Now, if you've been here for some time, you will know that I always shop in the men's department. I do actually like the men's clothing in Primark. So the first thing that I've picked up is this t-shirt. Now it's just plain white, but it's got like a rib effect on it. Now I picked mine up in the medium. Normally in the men's section I do go up to a large, but they didn't have a large in the Primark that I went into. So I did pick up the medium and this was £7. And again I just thought to style with joggers or some leggings if I'm lounging around the house and I just want to feel a little bit more put together. And to be fair, if I don't style this with anything, then I would just wear it as a pyjama top and put it with my joggers or 
anything that I'm going to sleep in, I could put shorts with it. So that was my next item. And like what I said, I will show you a try on if it fits or if I, if I do like it. If any of these items are quite see-through, then I won't show you what they look like. From the men's department, I absolutely love pyjamas, whether that's female pyjamas or male pyjamas. And every time I go into Primark, I do like to pick up a nice, fresh set of pyjamas. So I noticed in the men's section that they had some pyjamas on sale. So I just picked up these pyjamas. Look how soft they look. They actually feel really soft as well. Now these were in the sale so the colour of these is a crew and I've got mine in a medium. Now the reason that I picked these up they were originally £12 and today the top was £6 so I thought I'll pick that up and there's nothing better than getting out of a bath and getting some nice pyjamas on. What I do like about these pyjamas is that I could wear them as a lounge set so if I've been chilling around the house all day and I have to just nip out for something, I can go out in these and just pop a cardigan over the top. I do tend to do that quite a lot. And then the bottoms, again, I picked them up in a medium, and they were supposed to be £14, but they were actually reduced to 7 And they're just exactly the same colour. They've got the elasticated waist with the drawstring that does work, and they are cuffed on the leg. Now I will try these on for you and you will see a try on if they do fit. I think they will because they are in men's and they are in a medium. And to be fair, they're only for bed. But I just thought, I really, I really like the colour of these. So if you've never shopped in the men's department in Primark, then go and have a look at what they've got. Sometimes they've got some really good sales on as well when even the women don't have them on. So a nice pair of pyjamas so that when I go in the bath later on, I've got a fresh set of pyjamas that I can put on. I always pick some dry shampoo up from Primark. It's one of the best and it's just the PS dry shampoo. It's I get the one for blonde and light hair, refreshes hair between washes with a hint of colour. And this was £1.45. I think this has gone up a little bit because I think it was only £1.40 last time I bought this. But I did pick up this one. They do have it for brown hair. But I always have a little bit of dry shampoo just for them days where your hair looks a little bit greasy and you just haven't got time to wash it. And to be fair, I only wash my hair twice a week anyway. So I did pick up that. Moving on to clothing from the women's department. Now, since Primark have brought their Primark edit range, I tend to steer to that range just because you can feel the difference in the clothing. Now, I used to always swear by the basic t-shirts from Primark, especially the men's. They were about £2.50. But after a while, once you'd washed them, you could see the seams had started to twist and you, you didn't look put together at all. So now I always go to the Primark edit range for my basic t-shirts. So today I picked up a black basic t-shirt and you can tell the Primark edit range because of their labels. They are slightly different and they do have the ribbon as the hanger. So if these are 100% cotton, I got mine in a medium, which is a 12 to 14 and it was £12. Now, I don't mind paying £12 when they feel this good and these wash really well. So I just style these with leggings, joggers, I style them with anything to be fair. I do like wearing my unitard and having a basic top over the top. So I always go to the Primark edit range for my basics now. I'll probably still buy from the others but I just think you're wasting money and I know it's only £2.50. But if you only want to wear it once or twice, then that's fine. Buy it from that section. But if you want something that's sustainable and it's going to last you, then try the Primark edit range. So they are a little bit more pricey, but you are paying for quality. So I did pick up the black. And I also picked it up in the white as well. Now I got this one in a 12 to 14 again. It's in a white. Now to be fair, 
this doesn't really look white it looks more of an ivory but that's absolutely fine it feels amazing honestly if you try the Primark Edit range after using them basic t-shirts you won't go back you will spend the money on the basics from the Primark Edit I absolutely love these they are a box fit I will show you a try on I love styling these with jeans so I did pick up the white and it's just basically so I've got a nice white and black t-shirt to go with anything because these boxy t-shirts do go with absolutely anything I'm getting a right little mess behind me so the next item that I noticed is this white fleece now this was just on one of the gondolas these are not on hangers I've just put it on a hanger to show you guys but this feels so soft and I just thought to wear with a pair of jeans or to wear with a pair of leggings. Now, I actually got this in an extra large because the medium just, it looked tiny. Now, these were £7 each and they had loads of different colours. But I just picked up the white because I thought with a nice pair of stonewashed jeans, especially if we go for a walk on a night time, I could lay this up with a gilet or with a coat but it does feel really soft for seven pounds I'm not sure how it's gonna wash but again I just thought I'll get that so an extra large is an 18 to 20 and I'm hoping that this fits because I don't believe I've seen an XXL which I probably would have bought because this still does look quite small for an XL so always go up a size if you think that looks too small because you can guarantee it is going to hug you in places that you don't want it to hug you. Now, if you've watched my channel before and you've watched my Primark videos, you will know I always bring you a wild card and I've brought you a wild card today. Now, I would maybe wear this next cord for work. Um, then again I have been wearing dresses and things like that lately but I seen it and I thought I'm just going to try it if I don't like it, if I don't like the way it looks then I will happily return it but it is this beautiful cream and black and it feels like a toweling material so this is the jumper now did I size up in this? I did I actually sized up to a large in this now the top was 13 pound and they're saying it is in an ivory now I've seen cords like this before now I was hoping that they done the trousers to this because I just think it would be a, such a nice lounge set so I will show you a try on of this and see what you think but I just didn't want to leave it today because I'm one of them people that will see something in Primark, I will leave it and then two weeks later think, oh I really want that set now, I'm going to try it, I'll go back and you can only either get the top or the skirt or there's only tiny tiny sizes in. So I did pick up this, again I absolutely love it, it does say matching items available and they was in my store today. So the matching item that I did see, obviously I know I said I wanted some trousers to go with it. If you know if Primark do the trousers to this collage, then please let me know because I would really like to get the trousers so that I can wear it with a pair of Uggs and I just think it would look so cosy and so put together. But all they had in my store was the skirt. So I did pick it up and I picked this skirt up in a medium. Um, it was £14. I'm hoping this is going to look really nice because I've got high hopes for this. Not sure how this is going to wash but it does have the piping along the bottom in the black. And I just thought this would go so nice with maybe a pair of bibs. So I did pick up that cord and I really do want the trousers so... If you know anywhere that is selling a quad like this, 
but with the trousers drop me the link down below because i will go buy it so like i said i will leave a try on here if it fits which i'm hoping it does and again let me know if you know anywhere that's selling cords like that so due to changing my whole home I wanted a black reed diffuser and I noticed in Primark today that they had this Tonka bean amber and vanilla diffuser it lasts up to 16 weeks it's 200 mil and this is what it looks like how beautiful is that packaging I absolutely fell in love with it now it was five pound and this is just going to be styled on my coffee table I have a tray from the range so I have shown you that in a previous video but I'm just going to style that on there. What I didn't check, which I'm hoping, is that these reeds are black. And they are. So you, they do, you do get the black reeds to go with this, which I'm quite happy about. Because I didn't want neutral reeds. I'm all about the uh, black accents at the minute. So I did pick up this £5. And it's one of the nicer ones that I have seen. The label on the front is just so basic, which I don't like anything too in your face. So I did pick up that. We are flying through this video. And I may have to do a little bit of editing because it still might be a little bit long. Um, I just like to talk. The next item, I'm not entirely sure about it. Um, I'll see what it looks like when I try it on. But I picked up this beautiful cropped cream jumper now when I picked this up I visioned this with a pair of jeans I thought it would look really nice with a pair of jeans with a pair of trainers maybe them trainers that I picked up earlier um, I did actually pick it up in a large because again it looked quite small so the larges are 14 to 16 and it was 15 pound it's in an ivory color I absolutely loved the sleeves on this it's got a little pocket where I think I was drawn to the collar. I just think the collar is beautiful. And it's not really a shape that I would go for, especially with it being cropped as well. But I picked it up anyways, and if it doesn't fit or it doesn't sit right, then I will take it back. But I did actually fall in love with this when I seen it in Primark today. Okay, so the next thing that I picked up, I hunted Primark for this. In the end, I had to ask the lady where they were. And they were tucked behind a top that I've already shown you on my channel previously. So I don't know if these were new, but it is this cropped hoodie. Now, it is in the colour top. I actually did buy this in the medium because it does look a little bit large. It was £12. And what I liked about it, it feels absolutely beautiful. I'm not even sure what this is made from, but it does feel absolutely gorgeous. So it's 50%, 53% viscose, and it's 42% polyester. I'm not sure what the rest is because it doesn't actually say. But it's got like a drop at the back, which... I quite like something that's going to cover a little bit of my back area. Not really bothered about my stomach being on shore, but I visioned this with a pair of sage green joggy bottoms. Um, I do actually love my joggy bottoms at the minute, so I'll style a lot of things with joggers. Now, I could style this with chocolate joggers that I bought from Primark, with my sage joggers, even with a top coloured jogger. So it's got the drawstrings and it does have a little hood on the back. Now you will see this on a try on. I absolutely love it. It's absolutely beautiful. So I did pick up this. I'm going to have to put all of this away once I've stopped filming. The next couple of items are a bit out there for me. And when I say out there, I don't mean that they're loud or I don't mean they're not in my colour. What I mean is they're not really something that I would go for. But I did see them. They were a really good price. So I picked them up and I wanted to show you guys. But the first one is again from that Apollo Echevarria range. 
They were £10 each and I got mine in a medium. Now this is in the colour charcoal but it's just a pair of trousers. Now I absolutely love these. They look as though they've been washed and washed and washed but I do really like them. They're not cuffed so they're quite flared on the bottom. They do have a drawstring and it does work. It's elasticated waist but I just fell in love with them. They I had them styled on the mannequin and they had them styled with another top that's in Primark that actually has like a drawstring across the bottom and they're a bit daring for me to be fair so I, I didn't pick them up but I did pick these up absolutely love these and I just thought styled with maybe a vest top or maybe my basic t-shirts that I picked up today so I did pick these up £10 but it was just the colour that drew me. It just looks as though they've been washed and I've been bleaching and I absolutely love them. So they are in the colour charcoal and they are from that Paula Echevarria range. I then picked up, because I liked them so much, I actually picked up, they call these stone. Now I would have said these are a stone, I would have said these are more of a mocker. So I did pick up the mocker in them as well. Now this pattern on here it doesn't actually look similar to the charcoal ones but again the flared on the bottom elasticated waist I bought mine in a medium and I just thought for £10 they were really nice they have pockets which I absolutely love a trouser from Primark if it's got pockets and again I just thought with maybe a white basic t-shirt a black basic t-shirt some vest tops I've got loads of different colours of vest tops so I know that I will find something in my wardrobe that goes with these trousers so you will see them on a try on i do hope they look nice and i do hope they fit i didn't want to go to a large because of the elasticated waist i always find with elasticated waist stay true to size i've seen everybody wearing leggings like this and i would never ever have thought i would be showing them on my channel when I think of a legging, I think of them tight onto your legs. And when I seen them, I thought I'm going to give them a go. And I do really like them. I can't wait to try these on for you. But these are the ribbed leggings. Now, I love the way that this crosses over at the front. I bought mine in a medium. This is the colour top. And they were £10 each. With these, they actually flare on the bottom so I maybe think with trainers or with sandals in summertime but I'm going to try them I'm going to push the boat out a little bit and try different stuff this year and um, everyone's wearing loads of different really nice clothes and I was just sticking to my basics so I am going to try something new every single month so this time I'm trying that co-ord set, I'm trying some new leggings that are flared and I'm also trying the cropped look. So we'll see how we get on with them. You'll see on a try on by my face or if I do a little I love heart it. But I did pick them up in the top. Now I would wear white with top or black. Um, you'll see on a try on how I styled them and then I picked the same leggings up but in the charcoal now these look black on camera but they are a charcoal colour again they flare at the bottom these are from that range again Paula Echevarria so I've picked up quite a few things out of that range this time and last time I didn't pick anything up but I just love the way it sits it's not a proper waistband it actually crosses over which if you're really really skinny these look really nice if you've got a little bit of baby weight from 18 years ago like myself then just pull them up a little bit that's what I intend to do so a medium a 10 pound Paula Echevarria range and we'll see how we get on with them this item I fell in love with this it is just basic but I think I'm going to take it back. I should know never ever to buy tops like this because I just don't get away with them. 
So I picked up this top. Now it is in ivory. I got it in a 12 to 14 and it was £10. The reason that I don't like this top, it is long sleeved and it is ribbed. But I'm going to show you why I don't like it. It's a bodysuit. Now I cannot get away with these bodysuits. How people wear these all day long or on a night out is beyond me because they just aggravate me so much that I should never ever have picked this up but I just thought it would look really nice with a pair of joggers or them ribbed flared leggings that I've picked up I should never ever have bought it this will be getting returned but I did want to show you guys that they do have these new ribbed bodysuits in and I like the fact that they were long sleeve but Never mind, I will be taking this back and we'll see whatever else I have to take back if they don't fit. Hopefully nothing apart from this because I love everything that I've picked up today. So that is the end of my Primark haul. So I do want to say a big massive thank you if you're still here and you got right to the end of this video. Also, please ensure that you do stick around and you hit that notification bell as well as subscribing. I have just done an order on Timu for some clothing and I'm going to show you what Timu clothing is like. So if that's something that you want to see, then make sure you subscribe to all of my OGs, shall we say, my number ones from day one then thank you so much for your support. It does mean a lot and I do hope that you're still enjoying my content. And all I've got to say is, guys, enjoy the rest of the day, whatever it is you're doing, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.